What's good football fans? Back at you once again with another video. And I was just sitting here going over some Nick Gates All-22 Coaches film. And folks, this dude's kind of nasty. Primarily what I found is not only is he one tough son of a bitch who had his leg broke and came back, but he actually is pretty rough and tumble in the pocket too, man. Dude pushes people around like it's nothing. Like, look at that play right there. Like, he just put that Dallas dude on the ground like it won't nothing. Like, take that. Like, yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, he just manhandled my man. Boom, to the ground. I have heard from a few people that he is known for being a tad bit dirty. He definitely can get it done, though. I'm not saying he's not without fault. Look at that. He looked like he was about to get into it. If you watch this play, it looks like he, he bounces off of one block and then kind of hits Van Der Esch, and it looks like he drives Van Der Esch backwards, who doesn't like what he's doing. The play goes out of the picture there for a second, but I, I think they might have had words after that. Ooh, there was another one right there. Did y'all see that? Yeah, wind that back a little bit. I mean, he just put the defender. I realize that's a defensive back. And that center just put him on his tail to watch. Bop! And then watch, to the ground. Clap! I mean, that was on some WWE shit right there. Like, watch. Bop! Bow! Let's make sure y'all can see that. Right here. Watch it again. Bop! Bow! To the ground. I always like to see it when a guy can stand his own against other men the same size, you know? And this guy could clearly do that. Now, this is the play right here that I left on there that he gave up a big hit on the quarterback there, but he looked like he got a little confused. Maybe that's one of his weaknesses right there. They stunned him a little bit. Yep, and they got him. All right, so I wanted to show, first of all, some content with him playing center, which was what that first game was for. And I only showed a few uh, snaps there for a purpose because I wanted to show the snaps where there's more action in. But in these two games against us that I'm going to show, I'm just picking out certain clips, but I wanted you guys to see that he could play left guard as well. And he does a pretty good job of it if you want to know my opinion. Right there, he put Deron Payne down for the count. But I will say that Deron wasn't expecting that hit at all. Deron kind of rolled off, and he nailed him. Bop! Knocked him on the ground. I mean, he didn't do nothing to the man, but... He definitely caught him off guard and put him down. See, that's, that's what I meant by some people view him as a tad bit dirty. Got away with a little bit of a clip there on Jamin Davis. I remember seeing that play and thinking that he got away with a push in the back there. You see it again, right there. Jamin damn near falls down. You see on this play right here, he kind of goes to pull out. And when he does, he hits James Smith Williams and about knocks James Smith Williams down. Bop. Definitely knocked him out of that play for being able to do anything with it. Bop. Yep. Good block. You see here, he gets Jonathan Allen kind of off guard here a little bit. And Allen kind of just falls to the ground there as the play ends. Maybe he lost his balance there. Yeah. Who knows? Those two were battling back and forth all day long in this game. And uh, 
Allen got the best of him maybe maybe three or four different times. And this is one of those times right here, uh, Jonathan Allen just pushes him right back into the play and forces Saquon Barkley to kind of just stop. And the play gets blown up right there. Jonathan Allen does it all day long. He does this to a lot of defenses. So I'm not going to get overwhelmingly upset that we picked up a player that he did this to because it was about to eventually happen. And, uh, you know, Jonathan Allen did his thing to him and pretty much manhandled him with one arm while he made, he made his move and made the tackle with the other arm. And, uh, I mean, that's what we pay that man that kind of money to do right there. Ooh. Yeah, he just put F.A. Obata on the ground right then. Watch this again. Look at that. Right here, number ninety-seven. I mean, he plows him to the to the ground to the ground too. Like boom. Boom. Definitely didn't feel good. Now that that play right there, Jonathan Allen, like just steamrolled right over him, and both of them hit the ground. Boom. Bop to the ground. You know, overall, I view this as a pretty solid sign. And after sitting down and watching just about all of his film today, I'll have to tell you that he's a bit tougher than I actually thought he was going to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't believe there's many offensive linemen that don't have at least a few faults. You know, there are a few elite linemen in the league. And even those guys uh, you know, commit penalties or do whatever the case may be, miss a uh, block here or there, whatever the case may be. But I kind of, I kind of like his nasty little attitude and the way he carries himself. That's something that I feel like our offensive line really needs. You know, we've been missing that piece. You know, Brandon Sheriff brought that to the table. One thing we couldn't do was keep Brandon Sheriff healthy and we couldn't keep him happy enough to keep him, you know, on the roster as far as keeping him paid or whatever else he was unhappy about. He appeared happy, but he wasn't. This guy we're able to bring in and I think he's going to fit right into that Wes Schweitzer role of being able to plug in when an injury comes up. And I do think he's going to fight for some starting time, even if he doesn't win it out. I know we got uh, Chris Paul over there at left guard who's trying to make that spot as well. So we'll see how that works out. But this is definitely some competition for him. And Chase Roulier better watch out because this might be some competition for him as well at that center position. Do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and maybe even break down and hit that notifications button. YouTube is a messed up place these days as far as being able to see the videos through the subscription box. A lot of times you have to click that notifications button to allow you to be able to even know I've uploaded anything. At any rate, thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy. Peace.